And it was right there and then that the Lord showed me that this is what it means for the purpose and for the will of, of God to be done in your life. There are going to be some periods and there are going to be some times when you're going to have to be drawn aside to be tested and tried. Because guess what? All the things that you're going to learn to go to the next level is not taught on the mountaintop. It's not on the mountaintop you learn. You learn how to pray. I have learned that that's not, it's not on the mountaintop that you learn to fast. It's not on the mountaintop when you're on the mountaintop, you're bubbly and everything is, you're just feeling all the power and all the anointing and the blood of Jesus and the oh and the ho oh and the ho oh and the ho oh and the ho. Oh. But it's in the valley when you can't even talk, God Almighty. It's in the valley when, you, when there's nobody there, all the persons who used to be your friends have gone. That's when you're going to learn, God Almighty. That's when I learned that even God, one morning the Holy Ghost, the Lord waked me up. And that was when I learned that even God, he had 12 disciples. With Jesus, he had 12 disciples. But he had three of them that he, 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 he placed in his inner circle, Peter, James, and John. When the dams were sick and they sent for Jesus, glory be to God. Jesus did not carry the entire 12 disciples in the room. He closed the door. A lot of crowd was there and he shut the door. And he took with him Peter, James and John. He asked those three to watch with him. Glory be to God. So in your season of breakthrough and miracles, you used to have a whole lot of people who used to call you and flock you and whatever. But God is taking you to another level, God Almighty. And when he's taking you to that level and, and the purpose for your life is is going to be fulfilled. Glory be to God. He's going to shed those persons. Glory be to God. Because their minds have may not have been transformed. Glory be to God. And they might not see and understand what God is doing in your life. They might be a hindrance to what God is doing in your life. So God may have to take them away in order for his purpose to be done in your life. And as I said to you before, God Almighty, that the perfect will of God, when the perfect will of God is to be done in your life, it is confusing. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is terrifying. It is, you, you might not know and understand what's happening. Because as I said to you before, it's not on the mountaintop when you're speaking in all the tongues and you're all powerful and stuff that you learn. That's not where God put you. God Almighty, that's not where your mind is transformed. That's not where the plan and the purpose of God come forth in your life. But it is when you are drawn aside to be tested and tried. It is when you're in the valley. It is when your back feel like it's against the wall. That is when God is working on you. Glory be to God. So, as I said to you before, I have learned in my experience that Glory be to God, that the purpose of God, glory be to God, has caused me some tears. The purpose of God on my life has caused me some, so to lose some people, to feel confusing, to feel confused, to feel worried, to feel terrified. But at the end of the day, when I realize, oh my God, this is what God has a plan for me. This is what he wanted me to do. Glory be to God. He wanted me to understand. Glory be to God. What it feels like to feel hurt. I realize that even the, the path that I choose, the career that I choose to be a counselor is aligned with the plan that God has for my life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So the plan of God is not always the feel good. God Almighty It's the, oh Jesus, the plan and the purpose and the perfect will of God for your life is not always the feel good. Glory be to God. But how do you know that in some time next, the next season that God is going to use you to speak to broken people? How are you going to speak to broken people if you have never yet felt broken? broken. Lord Jesus, I feel the power of God. Lord God Almighty all over my body right now. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And then it all, it all adds up. Glory be to God to understand that this is what God has been doing. Oh God Almighty. 
This is what God has been doing. He said, I'm drawing your sight to be tested and tried. Because in the valley, in the valley, he restored soul. Glory be to God. So we want to walk in the perfect will of God and not the permissive will of God. Because we see here in the scriptures, he said that the Israelites, they wandered in the desert for 40 years because they sinned and angered God who disciplined them for it. Glory be to God. They weren't following his permissive will for their lives. They were walking in disbelief and sin because of it. And only two of them walked, were allowed in the promised land. So in this season, glory be to God, the Lord is, is saying that don't just, even though I've given you the freedom of choice to choose what you want to do, don't just walk in the permissive will of God because I have given it to you. Because walking in the permissive will of God might just allow you to miss your breakthrough for the next 20 years. Can 20 years, can you afford to miss that breakthrough that you want now for another 20 years? No. Can you wait another five years? No. Can you allow it to miss you? I can't. I don't want to. I want it now. So I want to seek the face of God and I want him to tell me. So if it is that I'm going to meet some friends that are distracting, show me, Lord, and let me don't walk there. Don't let me entertain them. Glory be to God. Don't let me entertain them and then it's going to distract me. Glory be to God. Don't let me go in that taxi. If it's got, I'm going to hear the wrong thing that I'm not to hear. I want a, a mind to stay on you because I want everything that you have for me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope that you have been sharing on your page so that somebody can see and know what's happening in this season. Glory be to God. So I want to encourage you this morning, glory be to God, to seek the face of God and everything that you want. Hello, ask him to tell you what's the plan for your life. He will show you. I don't believe that God keeps secrets. There are some things that he will not relieve. Re re he will not he might not tell you because he says that um, years have not year, neither have it entered the man of heart, the things that he has planned for you. But his, word, his words tells us too that his years, they are not, his hands are not short, neither than years deaf to hear you. So whatever you want, whatever it is that you need to know, you need to know the perfect will for your life. God will let you know. Glory be to God. He will let you know what the perfect will for your life is. Glory be to God so that you can walk through a season of open door. Hallelujah. So that you can make the right decision in every aspect of your life. If it is that you have a business, I have a business. I, had, I have a business and it, it, it and, and that teaches me more that I, I, I must pray every single day for the perfect will of God to be done in my life. The plan that I have, the vision that I had, it did not work the way that I wanted it to work. And I'm basically starting another aspect of it, starting over, starting all over again. Glory be to God. So in this season, I'm praying that God will send the right connection, the right people that are going to work and align with what God is doing. Because these persons that I worked with, that I allow in my business. They were people that were close to me. They were brothers and sisters. They were church brothers and church sisters. Glory be to God. They were, they were persons who you would have developed a relationship with. Glory be to God. But at that time, at, at that season, I, they, I guess their minds were transformed to, to, to go with what God is doing in my life. So at this time, I want to know the purpose that God has. I want to know who should be aligned. I'm going to pray. I'm praying for it. That every person that is attached to me is aligned to my purpose and, and my destiny. Not just the permissive will of God. So I might want this friend and I might want this company and I want this association. So I, God allow me because that's what I choose and that's what I want. So he allows me to, to choose it. And then five years and three years, it's coming to haunt me. I don't want that. 
I want, I want the persons that he's going to attach to my thing, what he's doing in my life, the season of open doors, glory be to God, that is going to, is going to glorify him. He's going to glorify him. And when he looks down on me, he can say, there goes my daughter working, walking in my, in, in the will and the plan that I have for her. Glory be to God. So I encourage you this morning, glory be to God, to ask of him. Let him reveal to you what his will is for your life, what his purpose is for your life. So what is the purpose for, for your future? What is the plan for your future so that you can walk in, in it? Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. As I have said before, that the plan and the purpose for my life has been a journey and is still a journey. But more so now, I have gotten to the place to understand that God has a plan for me, a purpose for my life, and that I am able to know what that plan is and that purpose is. Amen. God bless you this morning. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace and your mercies that has kept us. God, we thank you for the peace that passes all understanding. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, because it's a season of open doors. Lord God Almighty, in this season, we ask, God Almighty, that your perfect will be done in our lives, that we will allow your perfect will to be done in our lives, and we will subject our strong wills, our minds, our thoughts, our spirit to you, that we will not make any decision, we will not move anything, we will not do anything without consulting you. And even though, Lord God Almighty, your answer might not come right away, but we will not get frustrated, we will not get distracted, we will not get upset, we will not get weary in well-doing, because your word tells us that if we faint not, we shall reap if we faint not. Help us, God Almighty, not to faint. Help us, Lord God Almighty, not to be weary in well-doing. Lord God Almighty, help us to understand that your word says that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall walk and not faint. Oh, so teach us, Lord, how to wait. Lord God Almighty, help us, God, to, work, to walk in the gift of discernment so that we can discern discern the spirits, that we can discern the environments that is not for us, so that we can discern the friendship and the companies that are not for us, so that we can walk in the perfect will of God. Lord Jesus, help us, God Almighty, to choose you again and again, to walk with you. Lord God Almighty, help us that our minds will be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we will not see you from the narrow scope, that we will not think of you narrow-mindedly, but God Almighty, that our minds will be open and that we'll understand that you're an all-powerful, all-knowing God and that nothing is impossible with you because you are a God that specializes in a thing in the things in things that seems impossible and when the devil say no you will say yes and that every plan and thought that you have for us no devil in hell can stop it so right now God Almighty I speak life over your people Lord Jesus I declare and I decree God Almighty that our minds and our spirit that our body will come in alignment with your word God Almighty because your word says seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Everything that we want, God Almighty wants or ways please you. Your word says that nothing good with you withhold from us. God Almighty, I declare Lord Jesus that break